Good morning, YouTube, and today we have Danny and his what deck? This is Going Second Pure Zoo. All right, let's hop right into it. Okay, so so because it's Pure Zoo, we do play the Rat Pure. This is just a Foolish Burial. You mostly use this if you're on turn one if you're going to go for the Mega Clops play, but it is also good to get Ram Ram and Engrave, and then you can equip it later if you don't get hand trapped. We do play one Bunny Blast. Um, you could probably cut this now. This was primarily for Virtual World for their spell card that targets, but now that they're kind of out of the format, you could probably consider taking this out, but I still like to keep it just in case. Um, so we do play two Thoroughblade. This card is also just kind of okay. It does kind of get hit by hand traps a lot, but it's kind of better in late game so that you can get the draws later. So in the mindset of the Bunny Blast, what would you swap out potentially if you were going to, or are you still testing it? If I was to take out Bunny Blast, I'd put in just the third uh, Thoroughblade. Okay. That's what I'd put in. Cool, cool. Um, Ram Ram is still like really good. Like the follow ups that this thing gives when it's destroyed is super good. Also, imp Infinite Impermanence is starting to kind of make a resurgence again. So, this is also really good to protect you from getting targeted by traps. So, I, I really like this at three. And then we do play three Whip Tail. Thanks to AJ for letting me borrow the ulti one. Um, this is really also really good because it banishes cards. Um, and then they are quick plays, so you can activate them in the damage step when your opponent can't really uh, respond to them. So that's that's why I like this one at three. So that's about ten zoos. Uh, this is about the standard number for your pure zoo deck. I wouldn't go any more than ten because you need one for your starting hand and then like one for your follow up. For some of the going second cards, we do play the one Pankratops because it is only at one. And uh, my special tech that I really like this format is Kaiju's. So we're playing two. Uh, Gamera protector our children mm -hmm. and what two Dogarans. Um These are like super good. The best hands is when you open like two. Um, AJ and I have been doing some testing and like ten games in a row, I've seen at least one kaiju. Dragoon is kind of making a resurgence again. Um, Zeus is also like super good right now. So just having a kaiju is just like really good. Uh, and then on to hand traps, we do play three Ash. Um, Ash is just a good generic hand trap right now. It kind of hits everything, so you can't go wrong with Ash. I think Droll is kind of kind of cracked right now. Like every deck in the format is hurt by Droll in some capacity, especially Dragon Link and the Dogmatica decks. So I think this should probably be considered for main deck, if not sided. This is probably the best or worst card in your deck. It is the Dimension Shifter. If you see this turn one going first or second, this is just like the best card in your deck because it basically means for a whole turn your opponent can't do anything. So that's why I really like this, but drawing it later does really suck. And just for going second, I do play Gamma. Um, I side this out if, I'm, if I know I'm going first. It's only really good going second. Um, or if you go first, activate a spell card and you have no monsters on board. It's kind of situational, but so I like it going second. And that's all the monsters. Uh, for spells, I am playing Triple Tanky. Thanks for uh, AJ for letting me pimp these out a little bit. Uh, Tanky just searches all your zoos. It basically means that you have three extra zoo monsters. I only play two desires. Uh, space is a little tight, and also it's a hard once per turn. And I didn't want to overload on it, because more likely than not, you're not getting off three in a turn. You can activate multiple desires in this deck and not be worried about it. But uh, only two is really like kind of going off. And then the one uh, bar... Thanks to AJ for letting me borrow that too. <laughs> um, this is basically means you have 14 zoo monsters in your deck. If you have a normal summon, like something like Rat Pure or Thoroughblade, you can actually use them without fear because this takes up a spot of another zoo that doesn't require your normal summon. So that's why I really like that. Uh, Monster Reborn, um, it's just really good. It helps this deck grind. I mean, this card is like fantastic in this deck. Um, and then we do play back row hate, uh, the one feather duster and two cosmic just in the main. We do side deck more back row hate, but these are just really good mained. Um, especially for like the Elvich decks and the, and even the Dogmatica decks, this is just really good to help face against them. And you have plenty of space because your engine is just so small. It does not matter. Uh, and then for the last three cards in the deck, we are playing three solemn judgment, three solemn strike. Sorry. Um, this is a going second deck, but if you are forced to go first, you do play these. But if you know you're going second into the next game, you can cite these out. So, that's it for the main deck. It's 41 cards. Um, 41 is not too much better than 40. Um, so, next, we have 
<laughs> Fields Edge. Blue Eyes and the <laughs> Extra Deck. <laughs> you do play the one Dryden. Uh, Dryden's just really good. Uh, you set this up going first. It also helps clear off Kaijus that you can't clear off already. Uh, two Hammer Kong, just for like the extra names, as well as two Borbo. This card is cracked. This is essentially how you get Zeus to go off. If your opponent has like a full board, you don't even care. You just summon out the Borbo, attack them directly, and just start piling on. And then you just win from there. Um, you are mostly XYZing in this deck, so most of the deck extra deck is just XYZ, so you don't even care. So that's why we play three Tiger Mortar and three Shaka Nine. Uh, these are just like really good names. Just like this one, Special Summons. Uh, a zoo from the graveyard. It's not much per turn, by the way. Um, and this one it just equips one from the graveyard. That's well, it's once per turn, but not a hard one. Yeah, it's a soft once per turn. Uh, we do play the one uh, Vespinato. It it's just kind of good defender. Gets cards back. It's strong. Uh, this is the MVP though, Zeus. Uh, this card just does everything you need. Not once per turn. Just blows everything up on the board. Easy to summon. You play two because um, in the grind game, you really just want to make sure that you have two. Uh, and what's cool is he's not once per chain, so you can activate it. They attempt to negate it. You just activate it again. It's crazy. And then we do play the one uh, Mega Clops. Um, not a lot of decks have answers for this. So that that's why it's just kind of good to play it. Um, it doesn't come up as often, but when it does, it's just really good. I really like Pure Zoo. It's also a really nice like budget option. I mean, considering what you classify as budget, you know you might need the two Zeus, but if the rest of the deck is like super cheap, like yeah, this is kind of rarity bumped, but most of the deck is like common and low rarities. So the deck is fairly cheap over per se the Eldritch variant, and this deck can still grind like just like the best of them. Sure, Eldritch might be a little bit better going first and has a little bit more grind potential, but this deck still just does not brick. And it does like really well. And Kaijus are just really good against the upcoming format right now, especially with things like the Buster Lock potentially coming back, as well as Eldlitch still in the game. Dogmatica and like Shadals, as well as Dragoon, is like really strong right now. So that's why I think Kaijus are a really good tech option that you should consider, especially if your deck is built to go second, just like Zoo does. And so that's all I gotta say. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, thank you for watching.